dolls team up with our hometown rivals to battle Memphis in a city versus city showdown. Purple diamonds, baby. Purple diamonds? And dance dolls? Let the games begin. I think Prince and Tiger Reds and Infamous Dancer Reds don't feel like we're going to be able to work uh -huh. together. We can come together for something like that. So, oh, look what we have here. I see the little 601 chickadee. Memphis is taking these trophies home. Trust and believe. Hey! Hello! I miss you. Today I'm headed to DeSales University. I'm really excited to see Sanjay and the campus. So how you liking it? It's pretty nice school. It's very quiet. And the dolls take on the most powerful creative routine they've ever attempted. This is the most moving routine I have seen since I've been on this team, and I've been on here a long time. But it is now time for today's Memphis versus Jackson competition. I look over and I see Diana, Shanika, and Kayla standing side by side. Definitely, hell has frozen over. This week's competition is extremely unique. They're having these city versus city competitions going on. And the newest one to come up is two on two competition. Jackson versus Memphis, which means two Jackson teams team up together versus two Memphis teams. This week's competition is a city versus city showdown. Jackson, Mississippi versus Memphis, Tennessee. It's like the battle for the border, or basically how we say it, 601 versus 901. So, we're going to team up with one of our rivals, the Purple Diamonds, to take down Memphis. <laughs> when I tell the girls about partnering up with the Purple Diamonds, the whole room kind of like... Normally, Purple Diamonds are our rivals, but now they are our teammates. We're like... What? When I say paired up, I don't mean dancing on the floor at the same time. Dancing Dolls and the Purple Diamonds are going to be competing for the Jackson team, but we're not going to be performing together. We're going to be competing for our city and competing for points. Whichever side, whether it's Jackson or Memphis, has the most points, that's the city that wins. Do you understand? Purple Diamonds, baby. <laughs> Purple Diamonds? And Dance Dolls on the same side? Us having to come together as one at 601 to go against 901. Oh, let the games begin. We actually gonna be rooting with Purple Diamonds. Ooh, That's gonna be different. So it's gonna be different. Dancing Doll and Purple Diamonds have to come together as one team. That doesn't make sense to me. You would never put purple and red together. I'm pretty sure purple and red makes black. Good thing about it is, you can see who really holds up for 601. Right. You're gonna see who can bring it home. With you guys having to compete with the Purple Diamonds, we have to make sure that our routines are strong, and I'm hoping Purple Diamonds are thinking the same thing. I know the girls and the moms may be having a little bit of difficulty with this whole crosstown rivalry situation, but I already talked to Shanika earlier this week, and she and I are on the same page. I wanted to know if our teams could team up together to compete against the two teams that are going to be competing in Memphis. I think I can get with that. Prince and Tiger Reds and Infamous Dancer Reds don't feel like we're going to be able to work uh -huh. together. We can come together for something like that come now. On, we can, we can on, do that. We can on. do that. And I'm really hoping that everyone can put aside their differences so that Jackson can come out on top. The Memphis teams will be Infamous Dancer Reds and Prince and Tiger Reds. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, oh, one. Prancing Tigerist started off kicking hey. dancing dolls ass all the time. Fierce! Get into character. This week, they have us teaming up with ID, the infamous dancerettes, and I'm loving the idea because they, too, have beat the dancing dolls, so we can kick their ass together. And the purple diamonds. Dancing dolls, you know they're going to have this boring ass <sighs> pop out. I don't want to see that. I want to see a show. Entertain. Shanika, Diana, 601. Come, come, girls. And Memphis is going to humiliate the Jackson people. Do you think you can book it down come Saturday? Be my, be my.
both ID and Prince and Tiger Reds, they gonna gun hard for us. We're going against two Memphis teams, John and Quincy. Prince and Tiger Reds and ID, them two together is my fear. They both are powerful teams that are coming to cause some damn damage. Quincy's waiting on this day, the day that he can really say, well, Memphis, we win. It's gonna be a hell of a show. The categories are creative solo, duet, or trio, and also stand battle. I've really taken some time and really sat and thought about what I wanted to do. I feel like making a statement. So I decided to put together a African-American movement style creative to tell a story about black history, where we are now in life versus where we were then, and kind of where we kind of still are now. Y'all understand how important it is for you to know your history. You need to know about you, about the color of your skin. Now, who knows who Rosa Parks is? Everybody should know who Rosa Parks is. I chose a theme for the creative this week because I'm really frustrated about the things that I'm seeing that's going on in the news right now. But I also want to make sure that I can get through to my girls and that they understand exactly what's going on and what has happened and transpired in the past. Y'all got weave in your hair, you got cell phones, you got new cars. You've been able to go to schools that are not segregated. But back then, whites and blacks could not drink from the same water fountains. Whites and blacks could not even use the same bathrooms. I want the girls to open up their eyes and realize there are so many people that marched in the civil rights movement that did so many things just for you to have what you have. And they need to understand that. Sometimes I think they really forget. For me, I think they need a wake-up call. The racist comments made on the campus of Mississippi State and Ole Miss. This just happened about two weeks ago, down the street, not even 30 minutes from here. These things are still happening. So even though we want to think that it's over in real life, we have yet to overcome. Y'all understand, it's not just about black lives, it's all lives matter. I want to make sure that I do my part with my team and teach them something as they're dancing with this entire creative. We're going to make everyone in the gymnasium aware of how we feel about the civil rights movement and everything that has been happening. You can make an impact, you can leave a mark. So when y'all do this, you will take it serious or I will put you out of here. You will not laugh, you will not play around with this. This is serious. You know, I just hope the girls is really paying attention to what's actually going on because this Black, Black Lives Matter is a, a lot going on. real, true statement. So let's not forget that. I think this topic will hit home for everybody in here because we still live down south. We still live in Mississippi where even though we are not bound like we used to, we still experience the same stuff. Like, people feel like black people are beneath them. It's in today's society, every, everywhere you go, somebody has an issue with racism. Everywhere you go. Not everyone will have the guts to talk about this subject right now. But one thing I love about the Dancing Dolls organization is Dana is not afraid to speak her mind. And this Black Lives Matter dance is just one example of it. What I'm worried about, will everybody get the concept? Or will it confuse people? You got to remember who you're dealing with. Move, spread out, get off each other. Okay, this creator is going to take us down a timeline from the beginning of slavery, the civil rights movement, all the way to where we are now. Throughout this creative dance and all these different pieces, it's going to tell you a story and take you through time as if you were actually there. They say, stay down, but we stand up. Have I got it? I don't think Miss Adams is too political. I think she just really wants us to understand how we got here, where we're coming from, so that we all understand that history affects us. Four and five, six, seven, eight. I should see it and feel it. Even though y'all screaming out, screaming loud, I'm black and I'm proud, y'all getting in formation, we hollering about change is gonna come. Ain't nothing changed. We just talked about people still being racist. Come on, y'all, know your history, let's go. You dance like you're tired, you're gonna have a seat. What worries me about some of the girls is that they don't take this as serious as I would like for them to. One and two and three and somebody. please come on. I said don't talk. Every time we stop, you don't have to talk. This is serious and it's a serious routine. The girls need to step it up and get it together. If you find this funny, I'm gonna need for you to go somewhere else, because I swear on my mama, I'm not in the mood. Martin Luther King will roll over in his grave, and Malcolm X too. Y'all find the wrong time to play. Damn Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, and y'all ass and hit ungrateful. 
coming up. You think you on top and you not? Your points could be the difference in whether or not Jackson gets grand champion. Team Memphis, Team 901. Slay Purple Diamonds or Dancing Dolls. It does not matter. <laughs> a lot. I don't know why y'all having problems sticking to the beat. This week, the Dancing Dolls are teaming up with the Purple Diamonds in the Jackson versus Memphis competition. And I've taken on the most important creative dance in the history of this team. This is about black history. This is about the civil rights movement. Put your all into it. We've never done anything like this ever before, but I'm really excited for the challenge. Don't move. Let's talk about these trios. The competition rules say that the creative dance has to have a solo, a duet, or a trio in the routine, but it didn't say one trio. I want it to be a contemporary lyrical routine. I want a hip hop routine. Then I want Major X to show. So I'm gonna do a trio of trios. It's a risk with the judges, but I really wanted to go big in order to get my point across. Okay, let me have everybody's attention. I've chosen specific girls to represent certain parts of these trios, and it's done strategically because certain movements bring out storytelling points, and only certain people can do that. So Faith, Canary, and Deja, you have contemporary. That is going to be a dynamic trio. All of those girls both have training in lyrical, and they definitely dance with a lot of passion and technique, so I know this is gonna go over well. For hip hop, who's the first person that comes to mind? Kenjanae! Kenjanae, Akaya, Angela, and the last piece for the major red section is going to be Michaela, Cameron, and Christiana. So she said no, she three, made she got three trio. trio. So it's technically nine. OMG. We have three girls dancing in three separate groups a trio of trios. The real trio I'm worried about is the judges. Do y'all think we're gonna be disqualified like seriously? Nah, baby. I don't they think gonna, so. I think they are gonna overlook it. The judges might forget about the rules, but well, Quincy and John ain't I forget know about it. If John and Quincy wanna get their panties in the ruffle come this weekend, well, let's ruffle. Music. The first set of trio of trios within the whole timeline talks about African Americans during the slavery days. These three girls represent a change hopefully coming. We need to make sure like y'all time and day, sometimes you be a little too fast, Canary, sometimes you a little too slow. Next, and one, and two, and three, and four. The hip hop trio showcases the Montgomery bus boycott with Rosa Parks. Of course, it's upbeat and it's up tempo because it showcased a fast movement within what was going on in the civil rights movement at that time. I need for y'all to get it together. Energy. For the third trio, we're gonna be using Christiana, Cameron, and Michaela to bring out the majorette part of the routine. They represent the new age change of what's going on right now. It was all about getting in line, taking a stand, and everyone holding up their fists and saying, look, we're gonna rise together as a people, we're gonna stand together, and we're gonna get this done. The trio that I'm in represents the modern day struggles that African Americans still feel. We have to dance with a lot of power and strength to get this message across. So y'all gotta kinda feel the music and stay together. In order for this creative to work, it's gonna have to be a lot of emotion. The girls have to be able to tell the story of this whole civil rights movement without even opening their mouth. So emotion is the word of the week. It's emotion, 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 emotion. If everybody in there do what they need to do, it's gonna be very emotional. And it's gonna touch a lot of people. And you know what I hope? I hope I make it to the competition. Cause I'm going to see Sanjay. Oh. Huh? Oh. Is we oh. Yeah. Cameron is about to enter into her junior year. Uh -huh. And it's time so for us to start easy. touring campuses yes. and colleges. A couple of years ago, Cameron also won the full scholarship, along with Sanjay, to DeSales University. We are going to offer you a full tuition scholarship for all four years. Yes. But we've never had time to visit. Will you, will you go? I'm going to go with me. I'm talking about you go with me. I ain't talking about you. I'm at the same time. The same time, Sanjay can get her a tour around the campus. I am really not looking forward to taking a trip with Selena. But then again, I feel like this would be a great opportunity for Cameron things we do for our children. Uh-huh. Selena? Yeah? I will go with you this time. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out how Cameron gonna go to sales and go to competition. We gonna be back. We gonna be back. We gonna be back. OK. 
Okay. Let's go! I want it to look raggedy and torn. Nothing about that era was beautiful. Everything that y'all are wearing that has any touch of red in it symbolizes the blood shed during slavery. And I know y'all don't get it because you weren't alive during that time, but it still affects you even now. Be free. Just be together. Everybody oh, be together. Freedom. This whole creative is about utilizing your voice. So with this choreography, I'm giving them that voice and an opportunity to say, hey, this is how I feel at this moment. But they're still not getting it. Mentally, it's like it's not clicking. I know what Ms. D is going for with this creative, but I'm watching some of the girls, and it's like they're going through the motions. Y'all that do not have this dance. The girls are too young right now. They're thinking about what kind of weed they're going to get, or what the new shoes that are out, a new cell phone, or what kind of clothes, what kind of car they're going to get, what cars they're going to go to. They don't understand that you just wouldn't be where you are if it wasn't for Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Rosa Parks. Come on, girls, you need to feel this. This is one creative dance that you need to put your whole heart, mind, and soul into. And if they don't and keep dancing like they're dancing now, it's gonna fall flat. But you think you on top and you not? Cause you don't have it. Y'all don't know what Purple Diamond's gonna do. Your points can be the difference in whether or not Jackson gets grand champion. Gonna pray for them. Hopefully they got some. Coming up. I don't want y'all to think y'all got this in the bag. John coming up with all kind of crap to try to beat y'all. Same thing with Prince and Tiger Reds. Both of these teams have won against us. We can't be so sure and confident that we got what it's gonna take. Somebody gonna have to lose. Let's go! It's two days before the competition, and the Dancing Dolls are pairing up with an unlikely ally, the Purple Diamonds, as we get ready for the Jackson versus Memphis competition. And there's a lot going on with this routine. It's a lot to do. One, two, three, four. The girls, I think they're really starting to understand the concept. It's like the light bulb is coming on, then they're really feeling some type of emotion. I'm loving this creative, I ain't gonna lie. These girls getting it in here. This Black Lives Matter theme has us all so inspired. Even us moms, we couldn't just sit around and bitch and complain at the TV like we normally do. So we came up with the idea to make up protest signs, like they did in the days of the Civil Rights Movement, to hold up on the day of competition. One of mine's gonna say dog power, one of them gonna say Black Lives Matter. Oh, I want to say a lot of stuff like peace. I'm doing peace! Part of me wish I would've got a chance to meet like Martin Luther King. What would you, what would be the first question you would say? What's next? What's his next plan? Taylor yeah. turned 18 and I was Definitely. like, you need to go register to vote. Right. And then she was like, I don't think I need to vote because it don't make a difference no way. And I was kind of like, I got so pissed off. I said, why would because you say that? a lot so? of people think that way. And I'm but like, that's what she been hearing from her people as yeah. well. Right. You vote because people died for you to have this right. We fought for this. This is the only one I got. Oh, that's nice. I, that's, I, like, I like that. I like that's that. All, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. What's yours, It's favorite? my son, Nick. Wow. Oh, wow. That's deep, Rick. That's your mm -hmm. is. OK, Rick. Test! OK, everybody relax. Y'all are dancing like y'all tired, and I feel like we're going to lose points. I think the creative has taken a mind of its own, and because our points are combined, it's a big challenge and it's a big risk because we don't know what the Purple Diamonds are gonna do. Now the focus has gotta be on the stand battle. If you're not on the battle squad, get out! Back. Push back, y'all got the floor, push back. And not only am I nervous to see our girls go out there for the stands, but I'm also nervous for the Purple Diamonds because our scores are gonna be put together. France and Tigerettes and ID, they gonna come for them. They, they not gonna play. Montanisha, full split! I'm Wait, excited no. about that. Do, 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 do. Me too, because that stand they just did got me feeling some type of way. But it's been all about creative. Woo! So I see one stand down. Being that this is such a big creative, she might say it is what it is. Gonna go against. France and Tigerettes are ID. Both of these teams have won against us. We can't be so sure and confident. Somebody gonna have to lose. Yeah. I don't want y'all to think y'all got this in the bag, because I'm pretty sure John coming up with all kind of crap to try to beat y'all. 
Same thing with Prince and Tiger X. Any questions? All right, you can go. Six, seven, eight, drop, bow, up, and fold. It's the last day of practice, and the creative looks amazing. We've done all the solos, the trio of trios. We've done all the things with the different parts. Now it's time for us to pull everything all together. Oh, freedom. Oh, That's what your hands mean. Be still. It's our last practice day before the competition, and as the girls are running through the creative, I see a big change and listening to the music, they're starting to really accept the message and feel it. The message Coach D is trying to bring behind this creative is not only saying that black lives are important, but all lives matter. From slavery to Rosa Parks and even to our generation today, our sisterhood and our brotherhood need to come together and stop hating and killing each other. And we just need to work together as one and just Bring love. It's gonna definitely be entertaining. It's definitely going to send a message. Certain parts of it are a little sketchy, but overall, it still looked pretty good. You can tell that this creative means a lot to Miss Diana. I've never seen her so passionate about any other creative. Y'all need to have emotions beyond belief. Get out. Today I'm headed to DeSales University with my mom and Miss Selena, and I'm really excited to see Sanjay and the campus. Hi, right, hey, my name is Kaylee, and I'll be giving your tour today. I am so excited to show Cameron the campus because, you know, there is just so much to see and so much that the campus has to offer. <laughs> Given what's all going on at the dollhouse with this week's creative, it's especially meaningful for me to visit the campus with Cameron today. Just the thought that a few generations ago, my own grandfather was a slave. So with these opportunities that are open up for Cameron, I'm extremely <laughs> excited and extremely proud. So this is my room. They showed us everything around the school. It was really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Whew, we're here. The scholarship that Sanjay received, it changed everything. To have a full ride, so Sanjay, she's studying dance and business. After the tour, Sanjay invited Cameron to take in this contemporary dance class with her. Here we go. Front, side, back, da, da, go. Class is very hard, but I liked it. I expected it to be hard because this is no college. Travel, 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 travel. Good, thank you very much. Six, seven, eight. It seems like it's been a long day. Yes. Oh my gosh. So how you liking it? It's a pretty nice school. It's very mm -hmm. quiet. You yeah. gotta walk around a lot though. I'm very thankful for the Sales University for giving me that scholarship, but I am a little bit overwhelmed with what to do. Coming up, I'm gonna be the play. I get blank for everything. Lord, I hope we're not late for the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 601 versus the 901. Bring it on. Let's go. After taking a trip with Selena to DeSales, Lord, I hope we're not late for the competition. We already know if we are, Diana is going to kill us. I'm going to get the blame. I get blamed for everything. Oh, you did right. I'm going to blame you. Oh, she's not going to yell at y'all. She's going to yell at me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> If we don't make it back in time for this competition, the dancing dolls will be without their captain. If Diana gonna fuss at anybody, she gonna fuss at Selena. And, and you said it right. <laughs> it's my fault for everything. Yes. So please, let's hurry up. Let's we gonna get up. you there, honey. We gonna get you there. <laughs> It's competition day, and we're at Heinz in Utica, Mississippi, and it's Jackson versus Memphis. So the dancing dolls and the purple diamonds are going to be competing for Jackson, and the infamous dancerettes and the prancing tigerettes are going to be competing for Memphis. Y'all go up and go into that room. I am excited. 
I am emotional about today's competition because I feel like this creative dance is going to spark so many emotions from so many different people because it's never been done before. Today is about you guys and Purple Diamonds combining up point-wise to try to beat the Memphis teams. It looks like Cameron made it on time. Great, because Selena and I would kill her ass if they weren't back on time. Cameron looks like she's ready more so than ever to get out there on the floor and showcase what the dolls can do. Ding, ding, ding. to take out two rival teams, the Dancing Dolls and the Purple Diamonds. We're here for one reason, and that's to destroy 601. Let's let them know Memphis is where it's at. Team Memphis, Team 901. Slay Purple Diamonds or Dancing Dolls, it does not matter. Everybody in here is one of our rivals. Right. <laughs> this is weird for me. I'm sorry. I, I know we got to keep saying 601, but normally we're going against Purple Diamonds. I and know. Today, they we... supposed to be helping us win. And... Exactly. Right. It's, it's the day of two on two. Jackson versus Memphis. And we need to take home the bragging rights for Jackson. Instead of just making it be Moving Purple up. Diamonds, just say, right. come on, 601. Yeah, okay. that's what 601. 601. Okay, you got it. I think today is more than just about the competition. It yeah. is. Ice is ready. Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what you got, Redney? What you got, Redney? She ain't not at all. Hey. Hey. Oh, look what down. we have here. I see the little 601 chickadees. Here come Quincy and John at the same time. We are still looking at it as a personal competition. Well, if you're looking at it as a personal competition, that's fine, because there's no personal trophies being given out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to meet you guys. Hopefully you guys are ready to go, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, God. Yes, fans, we always battle the dance and all, and I wanted right. a new flavor. Right, so you got it. Oh, oh you got trust it. Trust me, I'm oh, so... You but you act like you ain't seen them on the floor before already, though. Who, Purple Diamonds? Yeah. I've never really paid any attention. Oh, you have? It's not the last time we battled. Everybody's bringing this macho, like, I'm King Kong, I'm gonna beat on my chest. I'm gonna go over there and talk smack to Diana and Shanika like we care. Bye, 901. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 601 Jackson, Mississippi versus the 901 Memphis, Tennessee. Make some noise! Now introducing our first team in our creative category, coming in from Memphis, Tennessee, the Prancing Tigerettes! The Prancing Tigerettes had a trio, and it was more of like a Destiny's Child type of inspired trio, and they had beautiful costumes, and they came out just like they would if they were on stage. So now I'm kind of nervous. After the Prince and Tiger Reds stopped performing, the judges got out their chair and on their feet and gave them a standing ovation. So the Prince and Tiger Reds, they made some noise in this gym today. Ain't scared, ain't playing no games, and they coming with the business. The girls, they better plan on making a great big noise when we hit the floor. Our teammates today are the Purple Diamonds, and it's a little weird because usually I would be competing against them, not cheering for them, but today I'm gonna be cheering for them. When the Purple Diamonds hit the floor, I was kind of just sitting there, then I had to remember, oh, I have to cheer. They're on our side this time. So, okay, yeah, let's go, Purple Diamonds. We can ride our own anthem. We can... Diana is putting a lot of focus into the creative routine this week, but there's a big chance that if the judges disqualify us for the trio of trios, then Purple Diamonds will have to hold it down for Jackson, Mississippi. I just hope they can hold up to their end of the bargain. We run the night. It's time for the dancing dolls to take the floor and do what it is that we do. Hopefully, the girls hit the judges to feel this Black Lives Matter creative dance. The emotion has got to be in the building. 
coming up. Sitting in the crowd watching the Black Lives Matter routine left me just speechless. I look over and I see Diana, Shanika, and Kayla standing side by side. Definitely hell has frozen over. Heads bow, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here today. We thank you for the gift of dance. Lord, I continue to ask that you continue to keep these girls uplifted through Christ. We do know that so many things are happening in the world. Everyone understands how serious this movement is, not only to us, but to everyone. Lord, I ask you to watch over these girls. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Put your hand on your neighbor, please. With this particular creative being about our black history, it's important that people understand that as African Americans, we've come from a lot of adversity, but here we are today and we're still able to stand and s still speak out loud and say that we're black and we're proud. Amen. Amen. Introducing our final team in our creative category. Coming in from Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dogs! <laughs> literally everything I have into this creative dance. I'm hoping the crowd's gonna like it, I hope the judges are gonna like it. I just hope I didn't do too much. come out of these chains with tattered and torn shirts and they're like their bodies are broken down and they're dirty and immediately in the whole room they get it they get it Watching the Black Lives Matter routine left me just speechless. This is the most moving routine I have seen since I've been on this team, and I've been on here a long time. My trio represents slavery and the pain and struggle from the people of the past. It's really powerful. I don't know if I've ever felt that way at a competition. Kenjanae Makaya and Angela take the floor, and here comes the Rosa Parks section. The parents are emotional. The judges are emotional. Right now, I feel like the girls are delivering in all genres of dance. Diana, she's playing a little bit with the rules. I'm reading into them a little bit deeper than most probably would. So. I don't exactly know how to feel about that. I'm just glad that she's on my team this time around. I did like that it was a Black History moment, but it's not February, so what are you doing? Creative dance was so emotional, but now it's time for stands. I don't know how you go from this to this, but this is just the life we live. And we gotta get ready, cause it's 901 versus 601. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to begin our stand battle category. Our first two teams, infamous dancer Rex and the Purple Diamonds. Divide and conquer. Each Jackson team has to go head to head against another Memphis team. 
We pulled numbers at the beginning of the competition, and the purple diamonds have the infamous dancerettes, and lucky me, I got the Prince and Tigerettes. Let's see it! Let's go! If I were a betting man, Memphis is taking these trophies home. Trust and believe. I feel the waves rushing through me. It's like a hundred thousand watts. I feel the waves rushing through me. Watching the Purple Diamonds and Infamous Dancerettes go back and forth on the floor, it is like a slug match. Mud slinging, and I am into freaking tame. <laughs> I look over and I see Diana, Shanika, and Kayla standing side by side, shoulder to shoulder, and I'm kind of like, yeah, definitely. Hell has frozen over. Electro. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final round of our stand battle of today's Memphis versus Jackson competition. Overall, I feel like Purple Diamond should win this. And now it's Dancing Dolls versus Prince and Tigerettes, and we ready. So we need to send these boys away. Bring it on. Let's go. Coming up. I am super nervous right now. Cameron is giving everything, and so is Prince and Tigerettes. They are gunning for each other. The winner of our Jackson versus Memphis battle. All I know is we really want to take this win home for Jackson. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final round of our stand battle of today's Memphis versus Jackson competition. It's Dancing Dolls versus Prince and Tiger Rest. That ass woman that we put on them in Battle Royale, I think he kind of feeling it. I'd probably be mad too, hell. Come on, Quincy. I'm just ready to be out there. We've been focused all week on this creative, and we didn't have a lot of time to touch on stands. So I don't know which way the stand battle may go. Let's get it! Let's go! All I gotta get is a hundred, hundred. Only way to keep it is a hundred, hundred. Energy a hundred, fling on a hundred. Dreams on a hundred. Just cause I want it, I want it, want it, want it, want it, want it. The Prince Tigerists, you know, they're a clean team, and they challenge us. They're one of the teams that, you know, give us a run for our money, but we're not intimidated because we're still gonna win. Top dollar, I'm a shy. Be my competition from behind. Me and my soul just put it out on the line. From the line, go up in the jump. My battle squad, they got a challenge in this stand battle. But watching the girls out there on the floor kill it like real ballers, it's making me really, really proud. <laughs> When Prince and Tiger Red started dancing, I gotta give them credit. They was killing, so I don't know which way the stand battle may go. nervous right now. Cameron is giving everything and the dolls are backing her with lots of energy and so is the France and Tigerettes. They are gunning for each other. Jackson versus Memphis, no one knows who's gonna win in the stand battle or in the creative dance until the award ceremony. And with our points all being added together, everything right now is up in the air. We've never really done a city versus city competition before, but all I know is we really wanna take this win home for Jackson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now time to announce our second place in Creative Solo Duo Trio. 
It's time for the award ceremony, and I really hope that the judges really understand the whole movement that I was trying to portray within my creative dance. I hope that our points are good enough to combine with the Purple Diamonds points, and hopefully we can walk away with the win. Coming in second place, from Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dogs. Really? You want me to believe it? Yeah. You really want me to believe it? My heart just drops. I don't believe that, but as long as the Purple Diamonds get first place, then we're good to go. You know, we just played a very fine line of breaking the rules today. Doing a trio of trio, it might have cost us. And coming in first place, from Memphis, Tennessee, the Prancing Tigeress. I can't believe this just happened. Both the Jackson teams lost in creative. These are two baddest teams in Jackson. I don't know how this happened. And now, first place in their round of stands. From Memphis, Tennessee, the infamous Dancerettes. Purple Diamonds lost in stands. There goes Jackson Chance of winning. And introducing the winner of their stand battle round from Memphis, Tennessee, the Branson Tigerettes. The winner of our Jackson versus Memphis battle, Memphis, Tennessee. big loss for us and I don't know what this means for summer dance slam like we are too close to the end of the season to be losing like this we lost everything this week I don't understand what went on was the judges in the same gym that I was in I just really think the dancing dog was robbed today at this competition yeah, yeah, yeah. the dancing dogs didn't walk away with the win today and I'm shocked as hell What's wrong with these judges? This is some <laughs> And the judges, they ass know it. OK, so first of all, Purple Diamonds were robbed in their stand battle. Oh, also, with y'all's creative dance, I don't know how in the hell. Oh, oh, to me, I just felt like y'all performed better today. I thought y'all did great in stands. Y'all were really clean. I'm very proud of y'all's performance. DD. Let's go.